Life and death, moon and sun, it's sure to each the piper comes. And while God and goddess give for free, down below there will be fees. Despite perfect love and perfect trust, there's no way around it, cash is a must. We've sought within, but come up short, so we come to thee, your help to court. If you would aid this temple's life, a three dollar donation would be nice. Remember well that gifts when sent, return threefold of what was spent. But if you can't, well blessed be, we shall survive, so mote it be. Merry me, and welcome to week 51 of Wicca, A Year and a Day in Magic. This week we'll be learning about the Wiccan and Pagan community, and how to be a better Wiccan in your community. Now, it's well known, once you join the Wiccan community, if you're open and you're out of the broom closet as a Wiccan, it's known that we are a very small community compared to other religious and spiritual communities. So, what I would like to say is don't be rude to other pagans and Wiccans in the community because we're so small. Now, there will be dis disagreements, of course, but try to be civil to one another. We don't need hatred or witch wars destroying our small community and ripping it apart. Instead, try to understand. Listen to what another person has to say if you disagree with them. Put yourself in their shoes. Look at it. Look at the issue from their perspective. If you disagree on a topic or on how to do something, you and that person may have learned the craft differently. I think Doreen Valiente put it best. The things which unite us are more important than the things which divide us. We Wiccans and Pagans worship the same thing, pretty much. Nature. We may worship different gods and goddesses of different pantheons, but we all want the same things in life, pretty much. Happiness, prosperity, and love. Also, I'd like to note, don't call another Wiccan or Pagan stupid or ignorant, because they don't know what you know. They may not have had the opportunity to read or to study as you have, or their information might be correct and your information may not be correct. All you have to do is just a little bit of research and try not to take the argument personally. I know it is your spirituality, but this person that you are having an argument with, you two both worship the same thing. Nature and the cycle of life. So why not learn from one another. Some traditions do one thing one way, and another tradition may do another thing another way. So six of one, half a dozen of the other. But how do you be, or how does one be a good Wiccan? Well, first and foremost, the most important thing a Wiccan can do is recycle. Take care of your Mother Earth. Do community service to help the environment, and also your community. Now, our faith is nature-based, so protecting the, our Mother Goddess is paramount. So that's why I said recycling and environmental issues are important to take care of. Now, how to be a good Wiccan in your Pagan community. Shop at local Pagan and Wiccan and New Age stores. They are pillars of a pagan community. Most often, a pagan store will have either ritual, they'll have classrooms, or they'll have events that they will hold near or at the store that'll be attended by others in the pagan and Wiccan community. So it's important to shop at those stores to help them stay in business because most pagan and wicked stores have a very difficult time staying open for business because of lack of business. And also follow the guidelines that I stated early on in this video. Now, when you go to a local pagan or wiccan open circle or a coven, you know, it's polite 
and respectful to bring food or a monetary donation to those holding the event because most often those people are paying for that space say if it's in a park or a public area or there may be a potluck and you know sometimes you're not aware of a potluck being held at a pagan or wiccan event but it is always curious to bring food for the event and <laughs> just a little personal preference here try not to bring too many sweets so not everybody's all hyped up on sugar and then they crash and then everybody gets grumpy now your assignment for week 51 this will be your next to last assignment is to find a way to be a better Wiccan now that's probably going to be recycling or doing some community service for the environment or supporting a local pagan or Wiccan business or if you know somebody who is interested in Wicca take a time out and show them what you know and show them where you learned it now until next time blessed be if you enjoy the videos that we make and what we do with our channel then please donate to Universal Pagan Temple and together we can change the world. Links are in the description below. And until next time, blessed be!